I want to show you two of the factions that have been released for Mercs so far. Also, they are the only factions that I uh, played with. Uh, as I play with more factions, I will make more videos. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is to show the miniatures, because I think they look really good. And I also want to tell you about the faction per se, what the faction can do. Before I start, however, I want to thank Lazuli Studio for assembling, painting and basing these miniatures for me. Uh, I think they did an excellent job here, the miniatures really look great and Lazuli uh, here in particular outdid themselves uh, with the bases. These bases are really highly thematic and really uh, they give me the sense of intense uh, urban fighting among heaps of debris and other things that remain on the battlefield when you have intense urban fighting. In any case, uh, let me tell a little bit about the Carters. This is the FCC faction. Uh, one of their corporate abilities, a pretty important one, is that they can work together with um, members of other groups. Uh, which gives them a lot of flexibility, but of course that also means that you need to know what the other groups do. You need to know that pretty well to be able to use that to, to, its, to that ability to its full potential. Also, they are able to crawl through debris and the effect is that they pretty much can teleport from one area to the other. It, that's just an absurd way to represent the ability to crawl without being spotted. Here we have the leader of the of the FCC um, because she's a leader she's able to give bonuses to characters that are um, close to her and also she has a pretty sweet semi-auto weapon that can perform a sweep, an anti-degree sweep of the battlefield. Here we have the liaison who allows black ops uh, characters from other factions to use the corporate abilities of the FCC. Boomer pretty nasty explosive expert he can uh, throw grenades uh, during you know, for the entire duration of the game he has an unlimited supply of grenades and several different types of grenades that you can choose from definitely a, a lethal character and he, his lethality will last for longer if he works together with the pack rat with this character here not a great fighter but he carries around medikits and repair kits that of course can help the uh, boomer to recover from damage and be inflicted to him this is definitely an interesting pairing if you want to uh, to try it here we have the cam engineer who has some nasty toxin grenades that can use has some irradiated uh, ammo that causes extra damage on the opponent and here we have the house member who is able to ignore a blood loss per match which is pretty neat and while not having stunning abilities is an overall well-rounded fighter. Seco starter pack the corporate abilities are group fire they get a bonus if they're fighting against an opponent that was already hit by one of their teammates and also they uh, prepare traps I assume those traps are supposed to be placed in the battlefield before the game starts but the idea is that when um, opponents are moving using the bounding uh, maneuver and they're fighting against the tactical they have to check to see if they step into a trap or not. As for the individuals here we have the leader who can influence the actions of uh, characters in the same team that are close to him and also he has a dog. These two miniatures work together and the dog allows the leader to perform an additional attack in short range. It is a melee attack of course. The sniper very good uh, firing number uh, and also an advantage, an extra advantage when firing from high ground however it takes a while to uh, reload between shots and so that sniper can only fire every other turn heavy gunner pretty well heavy guy so much so that um, the characters that are behind him receive a full cover that's how tough and big he is and also he has a pretty good heavy uh, burst weapon and a machete that allows him to attack multiple characters in in melee with a pretty mighty sweep 
the marshal has two pistols and strange character he places a bounty on opponent's heads when you activate him you can use his ability to select a target and after that target is killed all the members in the group receive a bonus uh, when they are firing they all fire better i guess that's his way to motivate his teammates here we have the demolition expert, he's the guy that I showed you earlier that uses a T template when firing. Also he's pretty quick and he breaks, he breaks ties of initiative plus reaction. That means in other terms that he does not do simultaneous actions, he immediately wins initiative when there is a tie that includes initiative die and reaction. And finally we have Jaguar, probably we don't need to elaborate too much on what he's good at, you can see it from the miniature and from that big uh, weapon that he is uh, ready to swing in somebody's face there, he is a melee expert and what he does is to pummel people in the face until the people are not much more than a red mist in the air.